What is up everybody, how's it going? This is your homeboy Seth Don 4 and I want to say this that everybody is saying that Jeet Kune Do is uh, not a style or it's an MMA art. They are wrong because in MMA you cannot eye gouge, you cannot hair pull, you cannot bite, um, you cannot hit butt, you cannot hit to the trunk, uh, the, the art throat artery, you can't hit to the groin. Um, you can't eye gouge, um, you can't ear pull or anything like that in MMA. Where Chuck Liddell stated the fact that Bruce Lee's art, Bruce Lee's art itself is a uh, Jeet Kune Do is the the uh, Jeet Kune Do is the founder of MMA. Well, Bruce Lee was the founder of MMA. Well, Bruce Lee was not intending to, um, intending to make it where, you know, his art was for meant for sport. He was m making it where it was used for self-defense only. Yes, he borrowed stuff from other sports himself and other styles and all that. And the thing of it is that most martial art systems, they have a name. They give it a style. They give it a... They give it a reason behind the art itself, and that's the fact that um, Bruce Lee himself, he he did not like the sport competition, he did not like the rule set, he trained for the streets himself, and he would say if people are saying that his art is a sport, it is an SMMA, he would probably compete in MMA, but I wouldn't doubt it if he would probably compete, keep keep at it for a long period of time, like most fighters would. Um, but he would probably at least give it a try to see on where he was, where he's at in his league and in, in his time and everything else. And that's the thing with most people nowadays; they tendency to think that MMA is you can do, but really technically MMA is borrowed borrowed techniques from other styles. And martial arts exactly like what Jeet Kune Do is. Jeet Kune Do is uh, a martial arts system itself. Um, it is a style, it is a system, it's Bruce Lee's system. And most people nowadays are saying that Jeet Kune Do is not a style or a system, it is an art itself and it's a way to train. Well, people don't really understand that. Um, the concepts of Jeet Kune Do. Jeet Kune Do is a style, and yes, it is a way to train, but the thing of it is, they don't really grasp the art itself on what it's really about. Because they want to agree to whatever they heard on the internet, they want to agree to whatever they heard on out of the books, um, basically on what people say about the art itself. Um, me personally, on my point of view of it, is it is meant for self defense, and yes, it is a style, yes, it is a system. Otherwise, why would Bruce Lee give it a name? And why would Bruce Lee, you know, call it a name of Chikun Do, which he did not want it to go for sport training because his style is not for sport, it's for the street. Bruce Lee's art is for the street. And people get that wrong about Bruce Lee, you know, his system. And can you use Bruce Lee's philosophy for the ring? I'm not saying you can't. I'm not saying you can't. You can, if that's what you really truly believe that, you know, Chief Do would really work in the ring you know, to apply it into your everyday training and stuff like that. I'm not saying it, it won't work because I've seen uh, karate guys, taekwondo guys, you know, utilize their stuff in the ring and, and for the street. But we're not talking about karate or taekwondo. We're talking about chikun do itself. Um, it's a Chinese form of kickboxing um, known as a Chinese hand. Um, which Bruce Lee called it was the Chinese hand because um, if he would have been still alive today, I would believe that art would have been more 
more evolved, more adapted to newer things. Um, he would probably try to improve on the system himself. And he would probably made another addition to his book of the Tao of Chikun Do if it would if he would have still been alive today. Um, that's just my a point of view on what I think about Bruce Lee's Tao of Chikun Do. It, is it an art itself? Yes it is. Is it a system of itself? Yes it is. Um, why else? Because the two arts that Bruce Lee did before he even invented invented the art of Chi Kune Do. Um, he studied Wing Chun under it, man. Um, and he also um, did boxing in college. Boxing in college. So those were the only two styles that he studied. And then he went undergone and trained with um, Joe Lewis and uh, Chuck Norris. Well, Joe Lewis is a kickboxer. Chuck Norris is a Taekwondo expert. Well, Chuck Norris ended up teaching um, Bruce Lee Taekwondo, which was known to Chuck Norris, Korean karate at the time. And that's what Bruce called it, was Korean karate. But he demonstrated his kicks so well better than what Chuck Norris did and Bruce Lee mastered in like less than a month but Chuck Norris in a way even though he says that he's friends with Bruce Lee but every interview that Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris did he tries to take credit for himself and for how he made it so far in his life well that's the reason why you know I do like Chuck Norris but I just don't like how he disrespects Bruce Lee as his friend and saying, well, if it weren't for Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris would not be famous due to the, the movie called The Way of the Dragon <laughs> and stuff. The Way of the Dragon. Because out of all fight scenes of in all of his movies, that was the best fight scene ever to really truly, you know, express martial arts in a street fight. Um... And that's the thing, most people nowadays, they tend to see that, you know, get the facts wrong about Chi Kune Do. And really, typically, it's meant for the streets. It's not meant for tournament sparring. Um, it's not meant for MMA. Yes, you use the training out of it to train and to compete. But, you know, you can't really do eye gouging. You can't do hair pulling. You can't do head butt. Um, you can't do biting. Can't do you know none of that in the MMA cage fight. That's where I say a lot of people that I think they know about a lot about martial arts. Um, they tend to see to get the facts wrong on Jeet Kune Do itself. That it's a form. It's a form of mixing the styles together. No, it ain't a form of mixing the styles together. Bruce Lee was saying that in his art himself. It is for to learn what is useful, and if it's not useful, don't learn. Apply what is useful and apply not what is useful. And it, if whatever it is that don't work, don't use it. And if it works, use it. And that's what he was trying to go by in this style of Tao of Chikun Do, because the style of Tao of Chikun Do. <laughs> Tao of Chikun Do is a system, it is a style, it is an art itself, and um, I hate to say it, if you think the art itself is wrong um, on the Chikun Do, um, on what I'm talking about, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think on the top. You know, because I like to hear from all of you. I mean, you know, all my fans. You know, if you are truly, a, truly a Bruce Lee, inspiration or if he is your idol or is he your hero or something like that or let me know in the comment let me know what you think about um the topic on my subject because you know, i'm very interested in hearing all your opinions and everything else 
And the reason why I'm making this video is because I watched another video of another YouTuber making stating the fact that um, GQ and is not a style. It, it, is, it is an art. Well, an art and a style is totally the same thing. Totally the same thing. Just in different words. You know, style, art, same thing. You know, that's the reason why half the time when I watch a video, I kind of catch it where they say that, oh, a style, it's not a style, it's an art. Well, a style is an art, an art is a style. So, it means the same thing. Two different words, plural, nouns, and into one. So, it is what it is, whatever you want to call it. It's an art itself. Um, it is a system itself. It is a self-defense system. Um, would I recommend training in it? Yes, I would. Um, get the book. Um, Bruce Lee style of Chikundo. Do. Get the fighting, complete fighting method book um, series, um, hard cover book edition. And also, excuse me one minute. Get the Tao of Complementary Ways of Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do. And the Tao of Kung Fu. And um, the Art of Expressing a Human Body. If you want to study his craft, do his art and everything, um, those are the books to get. Um, he does have DVDs out on his style by other people that um, train in the system um, that are Supposedly, his students saw it, and they just passed on the knowledge and made DVDs on it, on what they learned by some of his students. Well, I'm not a, no a professional chicken dough instructor, but what I understand of the art itself is basically use what is useful and not use what is useless. Um, apply on into learning new things and learn to evolve your art itself. And what you do into your own training. So, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification, second done on four, sign out. I hope you all have a good weekend, and I will talk to you all later.